dear students now we are discussing how to solve a question on the preparation of schedule of changes in working capital this is a model question from the following balance sheet on 31st december 2010 and 31st december 2011 prepare schedule of changes in working capital for the year 2011 okay we will be given with the details or balance sheet for two years that is 2010 2011 okay 2010 2011 that means two year balance sheet is given so when we prepare schedule of changes in working capital we have to identify only current assets and current liabilities okay let us go through the assets side what are the current items plan and machinery is not a current item okay long term investment is not a current item debtors is a current item stock is a current item then cash and bank is a current item preliminary expense is not a current item so only there are three expenses sorry three current assets debtors stock and cash and bank and also on the liability side share capital is not a current item reserves and surplus is not a current item it is shareholders fund debentures is not a current item then creditors is a current item it is a current liability and also outstanding expenses is a current liability outstanding expenses prepaid expenses accrued income income received in advance all these items are current items current assets or current liabilities so here in this problem we have to consider only current items that is debtors stock cash on the asset side and liability side creditors and outstanding expenses only these items are considered okay firstly we will put a heading current assets okay we know the columns to be provided particular column current year previous year here current year previous year means like this is previous year 2010 is previous year and 2011 is current year we show just only 2010 2011 only there is no need to write current year previous year etc okay and we have to provide additional two more columns that is increase column and decrease column what is the situation of all these items debtors what is the situation first year it is 75000 second year it is 1 lakh that is there is increase of 25000 so in increase column we will show 25000 here 1 lakh 20 1 lakh it is shown in decrease column this is shown in increase column the next cash and bank 60000 85000 what is happened it is increased by 25000 so it is shown in increase column and when come to the liability side creditors 1 lakh 80 2050 what is the situation 70000 rupees increase und but it is shown in decrease column because increase in current liability decreases working capital so we will show 70000 in decrease column the next 35 25 what is the situation there is a decrease of 10000 but it is shown in increase column because decrease in current liability increases working capital okay then now look at how it is solved okay this is the format particular column current year previous year 2010 2011 increase column decrease column okay first we will show the heading current assets debtors 75 1 lakh there is increase of 25 then stock 1 lakh 20 1 lakh there is a decrease of 20000 then cash and bank 60000 85000 there is an increase of 25000 current assets are over so now we have to total current assets it is called total a 255 285 next we will put the second heading current liabilities creditors creditors 1 lakh 80 to 2 lakh 50 there is increase of 70000 but it is shown in decrease column because it is the decrease in working capital okay outstanding expense 35 25 there is decrease but shown in increase column current liabilities are over then we will total current liabilities the next working capital working capital is the difference between current assets and current liabilities it is 40000 and 10000 okay we will total only the first two columns 
and lastly we will balance to find the increase or decrease in working capital for that purpose firstly take the first two columns the first column shows only 40000 second column 10000 the highest figure 40000 is shown as total for the two columns okay here in the first column it is over the second column there is only 10000 so we will show the balance as 30000 next what will be increase whether it is increase or decrease we know first year working capital is 40000 second year working capital is 10000 that is decrease so we will show as decrease and lastly we have to balance the last two columns okay then when we total these columns here it is 90,000 last column 90,000 but there is uh, only 60,000 in the third column so we will show the highest total 90,000 for both of the columns and the difference is written here as 30,000 and when we show the amount in increase column it is treated as decrease in working capital okay so we will show decrease in working capital okay now let us discuss one more problem related to schedule of changes in working capital okay this is the problem what is the first stage we have to identify current assets and current liabilities from this two year balance sheet that is two 2010 and 2011 two year details are given 2010 is taken as previous year and 2011 is taken as current year okay then we have to find the current items freehold land is not a current item plan and machinery is not a current item furniture at cost is not a current item investment at cost is not a current item then first item debtors is a current item stock is a current item cash is a current item okay likewise go to the balance liability side and find whether there is current liabilities share capital is not a current item securities premium is not a current item because it is shareholders fund general reserve is not a current item it is shareholders fund profit or loss account is not a current item it is shareholders fund it is a part of equity debenture is a long term liability provision for depreciation on planned it is related to planned fixed assets so it is not taken in schedule provision for depreciation on furniture it is also related to furniture furniture is a fixed asset so this provision will not be taken in schedule the next provision for tax provision for tax is taken as a current liability now when we go to the advanced stages we have two options it can be taken either as current item or non-current item but now we are in the preliminary stage so we now take it as current item so provision for tax is a current item because it is to be paid in the current year or within few dates okay few months etc the next is sundry creditors sundry creditors is also a current item so when we prepare schedule of changes in working capital we have to take only three current assets and two current liabilities nothing other than given in the balance sheet should be taken then how to solve this problem first give the heading current assets okay we will give the heading current assets current assets for example okay we will give a heading current assets okay and firstly we will write debtors when the items column particular column we will write debtors in the 2010 column it is given as 60,000 in the second column it is given as 140,000 what is the situation here 60,000 increase on direct okay so increase column till 80,000 secondly stock eduka stock 120 130 what is the situation there is an increase of 10000 alle idum increase thanne aanu then 60000 90000 what is the situation 30000 increase aanu idum increase kolathil kaanikka then total cheyuga current assets column first rendu amount column mathram total cheyya okay then put the heading current liabilities current liabilities ennu heading kodukunu edakkana items ullathu first one provision for taxation Provision for taxation 40,000, 60,000. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. This is the same 
ഇൻക്രീസ് ആണ് വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഷോൺ അണ്ടർ ദ ഹെഡിങ് ഡിക്രീസ് കറണ്ട് ലാബിലിറ്റി ഇൻക്രീസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് ഡിക്രീസ് ഇൻ വർക്കിംഗ് ക്യാപിറ്റലാണ് ഡിക്രീസ് കുടത്തിലാണ് കാണിക്കേണ്ടത് ഓക്കെ ലൈക്ക് വൈസ് സൺറി ക്രെഡിറ്റേഴ്സ് വൺ ലാക്ക് സെവൻറ്റി ടു വൺ ലാക്ക് എയ്റ്റി ദർ ഈസ് എയ്റ്റീൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഓക്കെ ദർ ഈസ് എയ്റ്റീൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഷോൺ ഇൻ എവിടെയാണ് കാണിക്കേണ്ടത് ഇതിവിടെ ഇൻക്രീസ് ആണ് വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഷോൺ ഇൻ ഡിക്രീസ് കോളം ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇൻ കറണ്ട് ലാബിലിറ്റി ഷോസ് ഡിക്രീസ് ഇൻ വർക്കിംഗ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓക്കെ ഈ രൂപത്തിലാണ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് ഇപ്പോൾ യു റൈറ്റ് ഡൗൺ ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈ ഒരു ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് എഴുതിയെടുക്കുക എന്നൊരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എഴുതുക പ്രിപ്പയർ ഷെഡ്യൂൾ ഓഫ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ വർക്കിംഗ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓക്കെ ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് ക്ലിയർ അല്ലേ ഈ ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് ഒന്ന് എഴുതിയെടുക്കുക എന്നിട്ട് താഴെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എഴുതുക പ്രിപ്പയർ ഷെഡ്യൂൾ ഓഫ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ വർക്കിംഗ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ